they, they're too important to have a muscle. Oh, well, we had this morning with Dr. Wei. Um, what's it, Monday, the, what's it, the 12th of November. We have a nice little dog here named Coco who had an allergic reaction to chicken, which is not com which is common in some animals. And so he's so Coco is here to see Dr. Wei. So Dr. Wei, why are dogs having such an issue with some dogs with, with chicken? So um, allergies are like a very challenging problem to tackle because there are so many different components and so many factors that can play a role in allergies. Um, so you know, chicken could be a culprit, but it could be other things that um, Coco could be allergic to. So we kind of have to do like a process of elimination and um, probably get a little bit more detailed history from the owner. Um, but I understand that Coco was on allergy medicine in the past um, and that there was a recent dietary change that, in that um, included the chicken as a new ingredient. And that's when the owner first noticed the problem. Um, so. If we were trying to figure out if chicken was the instigator, what we would want to do is eliminate chicken from the diet. And it can take at least six weeks for the effects of the food allergy to resolve once the oh, really? and, um, instigator has been removed from the diet. That long? Mm -hmm. So, um, but what you should not see is that while they're off of the chicken, the allergy getting worse. Okay, so it should improve. It may not completely resolve. Um, immediately, it may take up to six weeks, six to eight weeks or so. I think I'm, I'm Coco's new dog. <laughs> oh, Coco loves you. So yeah, so that's how we would try to figure out if, if, if chicken is the culprit by eliminating chicken from the diet, waiting a period of two months, roughly, and then um, after hopefully the the reaction has resolved, you could try reintroducing the protein into the diet to see if you see a um, reoccurrence of those same symptoms. Because, um, the, because the owner said they have taken them off chicken, but they, didn't, they did not realize that they, the food they were using, they added chicken, it's a new, right. something new to the ingredients. So I right. guess that's something owners have to be careful or mindful to just from time to time check the ingredients and see. Uh, well, yeah, but, but that, that doesn't apply to every dog. Oh. Not every dog is going to be allergic to, to chicken. But if your dog does have food allergies and you know that they are sensitive to a certain protein, then absolutely you do want to check the ingredients, mm -hmm. um, not just the dog food, but you also have to consider Consider the dog treats. treats. You also have to consider any table food that might be introduced into the diet, because um, those could all be um, avenues for that allergen to get into the dog system. So, um, but you know, as we talked about before, when it comes to allergies, first thing I like to rule out is flea allergy, because I am seeing some pinpoint lesions along Coco's um, back here. There's a lot of redness a lot of little scab lesions, and I'm sure that's from him scratching. Because um, it's a different advantage on, right. on Saturday pass. Right, so the owner did treat with an effective flea preventative, so that's good, um, but we don't know how long before mm -hmm. um, Coco was dealing with the allergy, and we don't also know um, if he was on a flea preventative before being treated with that advantage recently. Um, so there are a lot of questions that you kind of have to ask before you, um, you know, conclude that the chicken was the, the main focal point of his allergies, but it certainly could be, um, especially if a dog has a history of being food allergic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sometimes they're allergic to multiple different proteins. Sometimes they're allergic to multiple different things, not just food. They might be allergic to things in the environment. They could be allergic to pollen and grass, just like people can. Um, some dogs that live with cats can be allergic to the cat. <laughs> so, right, and so, you know, to try and really figure out all of those things, you kind of have to go through a process of elimination and sometimes do allergy testing to try and rule out the specifics. Um, but yes, if you're, look, if you're worried about a food allergy, the, the um, simplest thing to do would be elimination trial. Removing that um, allergen or the suspe suspected allergen from the pet's diet and waiting out that period of about two months at least before you make a determination um, if that was the no, case. No, let me ask you something. Why so long? Because once the allergen is in their system, mm -hmm. their immune system is reacting to it, especially if it's something that they've been constantly exposed to. So if he was being fed that diet for a period of time, like he was on that chicken-based diet for weeks, months, you know, his body has 
develop a sensitivity and he's going to continue to have that reaction until that clears out of his system that person. Six weeks. <laughs> At least. <laughs> yeah, no less than six weeks. So it's kind of like, you know, somebody might say, you know what, I think it was a chicken. I stopped the chicken and a week later he's still scratching, so it wasn't the chicken. Well, we don't know yet. <laughs> we have to wait it out. Um, but what, like I said, we should not see is that the once you stop that suspected um, allergen, you shouldn't see the allergen getting worse. Um, so once you remove the instigator, it should not get any worse. Um, but it might still be ongoing. Oh, worse when you're mad at you, she do not fix me like that. So yeah, so what we're seeing with Mr. Coco here, uh, he's got like some red spots around his tail. He's been biting. Got nice little red patches here. And over here is where mom would have applied that um, Cleantic mm -hmm. product. Um, but most of his lesions appear to be on the back. Um, I'm not seeing too many. are pretty long too. <laughs> yeah, I'm not seeing too much going on on the upper belly. Um, talking about I'm sorry I violated you I touched you in places you don't like <laughs> okay that's all right Coco. it's all right Coco it's all right I'm sorry I upset you so even the little ones even the little aggressive. ones yeah <laughs> poor pit bulls get the bad rap all the time but oftentimes it's those little guys right with the heart of a lion okay Coco <laughs> as soon as I let you go, you just did that. No? Yeah, well, I, I kind of picked them up and I put this on the belly, and he didn't really take too kindly to that. So, But he did give me a nice little warning with his little teeth there. He bared his little teeth, and his ears look good. A lot of times, dogs that have like severe food allergies can also have ear infections as well. A lot of times they're chewing at their paws. I didn't really notice any redness on his paws. Um, <clears throat> so most of the lesions seem to be, like I said, on his dorsum or his back. And they are some pinpoint areas that could suggest um, insect bites. All right, Coco. It's all right. It's all right. You can pop up. Relax, puppy. Your mommy said you were a tough guy. I see you curling those lips. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, let's see if we put the little party hat on. <laughs> <laughs> what else going on? A party hat for Mr. Coco. See how happened? You're going to get a party hat. I know. He probably knows about these, too. You know about this? Yeah? Seen this before? He's like, oh, man. Just took away my bite option. <laughs> He's trying to do a morning snack. <laughs> No morning snack for you yet, Coco. I just wanted a sample. Just wanted a sample. for mom to do is um, you know she could continue to do the withdrawal of chicken but making sure that it's not just the food but also the, treat. the treats and making sure that no one's sneaking in any special goodies from the table at home he does also have a little problem with his knee joint here he's got what's called a luxating patella which is basically a spontaneous dislocation of the knee. A lot of toy breed dogs will have that. So maybe that's why he was reacting because when I stood him up to look at his underbelly, he had to bear weight on those back legs. Maybe that caused him a little discomfort. I'm not sure. But maybe he just doesn't like me. <laughs> don't like me. Don't 
like Dr. Wade. Hey, Dr. Wade. <laughs> Everyone likes Dr. Wade. Like not every dog. Scratching pretty, pretty severely here. And it's really interesting. You saw how calm he was at the onset of mm -hmm. this process, and then he kind of just suddenly turned. So you always have to be aware of body language and mindful. Because exactly, they are predictably unpredictable. <laughs> and my rule is any dog with teeth can bite. So, so let me ask you something. Now, now, because of the situation, is he's not a candidate for his rabies shot? Uh, no, he can still get his rabies vaccine. Is he due for his, his rabies? Yeah, I'm going to go to double check. I'm pretty sure he does want to see that. Yeah, he can still get his rabies vaccine. Let me just double check his shot. Yeah, so I'm, yeah, I'm going to advise mom to we'll try him with the antihistamine. Um, and then just to make sure that she keeps him on his flea and tick preventative and you know withdraw the chicken from the diet for at least a period of two months and see how he responds. Yeah, double check. Okay. Is that your problem? Is that your problem? Or we I fear you? Okay, I'm not gonna hurt you, buddy. <laughs> 